The $8.4 billion budget adopted by the legislature is the biggest in state history, but largely retains the status quo. This back to, back to basics budget, current services budget, provides predictability when it's been when when we've had nothing but uncertainty over the last year, I think it's really important that we provide Maine families and businesses with the certainty that they, certainty that they need right now. Democratic House Speaker Ryan Fecto says it removes the risk of a government shutdown when the fiscal year begins in July. He was in the House during the last shutdown in 2017. The parks get closed, and it tells people that uh, that you know the Maine is closed. The budget passed without any Republican votes. We didn't allow any sort of deliberation negotiations. Republican leaders like Kathleen Dillingham called it a shortcut sham that left them on the sidelines. To me it's a sad day and disservice to the people of Maine and certainly for all the districts that the minority represents that their voice was excluded from this process. The budget is roughly the amount Governor Janet Mills proposed a month ago with little new spending besides a $45 million bump for education. This budget includes no new programs or new initiatives. One Republican senator said the rush to pass a budget during the coronavirus crisis could be remembered as the day bipartisanship ended. What it does accomplish is it effectively neuters the minority party from being involved in any of the negotiations going forward. The governor says she'll sign this budget and will plan to call the legislature back for a special session this spring to address any other spending needs and also disbursements of new federal coronavirus relief funds now in the pipeline. In Augusta, Phil Hirschkorn, WMTW News 8.